Now, let me give you the reaction to Biden before this collapse. So we'll start with him. And this was said July 8th, 2021. Roll it. Is the Taliban takeover of Afghanistan now inevitable? No, it is not. Because you have the Afghan troops have 300,000 well-equipped, as well-equipped as any army in the world and an Air Force against something like 75,000 Taliban. It is not inevitable. Do you trust the Taliban, sir? Are you, is that a serious question? It's absolutely a serious question. It's a, it's a silly question. Do I trust the Taliban? No. All right, so why didn't you leave a residual force, as I suggested, of 3,000 people, military personnel in, Agra, in Bagram? You don't trust them. Why didn't you leave the 3,000? which would have bolstered the Afghan army, which of course deserted because they go, yeah, the Taliban's gonna win. That's why. Now, even the left, all right, even the, the, we love Joe Biden. And by the way, if you're watching me now and you voted for Joe Biden, you happy? You happy with him after seven months? All right, here's uh, Tapper, who's a despicable human being, go. That is, of course, a sharp turnaround from six weeks ago when President Biden called it highly unlikely that the Taliban would overrun the country, an assessment that even at the time struck many experts in Biden's own administration as unrealistic. And now as American diplomats rush to shred embassy documents and escape, it seems shocking that President Biden could have been so wrong. Yeah, yeah, Jake's shocked. He's shocked. I guess Jake's missing what happened in the border. He's missing that. Kind of missing uh, gas prices up a buck and a quarter for everybody. Oh, that's shocking. How can he miss it? Martha Raddatz. She knows what she's talking about. All right. She works for ABC, but an ardent, ardent liberal. Roll it. But I can tell you of the failures, John, that are so obvious at this point. The training mission of those Afghan forces, $83 billion worth, clearly failed. The negotiations with the Taliban clearly failed. And you also had a really massive intelligence failure here that the U.S. did not realize how quickly the Taliban could take over. And we have been there for 20 years. We know the Taliban. We have people on the ground. And yet you, the U.S. was caught unaware and completely off guard. And that's not true. All right, there were many people inside the Pentagon. I told Biden and the Secretary of State, who's a total idiot, Anthony Blinken, nobody even knows who he is. Uh, I'll give a soundbite from him in a minute. They told him, you can't pull everybody out. You got to keep a residual force of special forces and people to maintain the Air Force, the Afghan flying a plane. And, and Radis goes, oh, they're completely off guard. That's a, that's a lie. Now, does she know it's a lie? She should. All right, let's get to Blinken. Now, this is probably the worst Secretary of State since, I don't know, John Calhoun. I mean, this guy, roll it. So I think there, there, there are two things that are important here. First, I come back to this proposition that uh, in terms of what we set out to do in Afghanistan, the reason we were there in the first place, to deal with those who attacked us on 9-11, we succeeded in doing that. And that message, I think, uh, should ring out very strongly. Uh, it's also true that there's nothing that our strategic competitors around the world would like more than to see us bogged down in Afghanistan for another 5, 10, or 20 years. That is not in the national interest. You are an idiot. Keeping 3,000 troops there is not bogged down. So now we're right back where we were 20 years ago. With all of the death destruction and expenditure right back where we were. In fact, it's worse because the Taliban have all the captured U.S. equipment. And Blinken, oh, uh, 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 we don't want to get bogged down. You know, I'm trying to keep it, I'm trying to keep my composure here, but this is the worst administration in my lifetime. By far. And it's only seven months. Hey, I'm sure you've noticed that everything is getting more expensive. And with all this printing money and spending by the progressives, I'm concerned the dollar's end could be near. 
If the government continues this way, the dollar could freefall and lose its coveted role as the world's reserve currency. That's why there's never been a more important time to consider gold and silver to protect you and your family. And American Hartford Gold is the only company I'm happy to put my name behind. I have done business with them myself. It just takes a quick phone call and they'll have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA. Plus, tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you and they'll give you up to $2,500 of free silver on your first order. So please don't wait. Call 866-501-5201, 866-501-5201, or text Bill to 65532. Again, 866-501-5201, or text Bill to 65532. Bill O'Reilly here. Thank you for watching this video and make sure you subscribe to the First TV YouTube page. Just hit the big red subscribe button below and you'll get clips and highlights of my program, The No Spin News, every single day. We'll see you soon.